Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com. And in this video, we're going to tell you which wireless carrier has the best 5G coverage. So the first thing we need to talk about is 5G coverage and how that works. 5G isn't like 4G where there's just one kind of 5G. 5G encompasses a few different technologies and they're called high band, mid band, and low band. High band is really, really fast, mm -hmm. but it doesn't even go through building walls. So you gotta be outside. So all these commercials that you're seeing right now, Verizon, AT&T, Verizon, I've seen the highest speeds up to 1.7 gigabits per second, which is crazy fast and unnecessarily fast, mind you. But you have to be outside. And sometimes it's been in stores, but it doesn't have good penetration. So you can bet that when they're in these stores, they're not like buried in a building like you would be in an apartment. It's kind of near one of these uh, little boxes that you're gonna see starting to appear on telephone poles. Mid-band is kind of the in-between. Verizon has some of that. And then there's low band, which T-Mobile is saying, okay, we have the best coverage, but they only have low band. So yes, they have the most coverage in terms of geographical area, but it's also the slowest. and It's marginally faster than 4G LTE. So is it the best 5G just because there's more of it? Not necessarily. Yeah, and to actually use that coverage, you need a 5G cell phone, which is gonna cost you at least $200 more mm -hmm. uh, to actually use the low band 5G, which is... It's not necessarily worth it. I saw a comparison between Verizon's 4G LTE mm -hmm. speed and T-Mobile's 5G speed. And yes, T-Mobile's 5G speed was 20% faster, which is the number they're saying, than their 4G LTE. And Verizon's was faster than their 5G speeds on 4G LTE. Yeah, we published a whole city list of where that high band Elder 5G is. We'll leave yep. that in the card above and the description section below. Yep. Basically, if you're outside of like a major urban area, 5G, you can't even use it at this point. Can't use it. You gotta be really near to one of these towers because companies were running out of capacity. Mm -hmm. And T-Mobile is saying, hey, we got this awesome new 5G network at 600 megahertz. Wow. Yeah. But like the reason it's 600 megahertz is because if you remember back in the day, we had those analog rabbit ears. Mm -hmm antennas on our TVs. David's too young, but we did. And you could tune into local stations with analog over the air transmission. Those used the same 600 megahertz frequencies that T-Mobile is now using. The FCC, if you remember, shut down analog TV transmission. They've been doing that for, you know, it was supposed to happen in 2011 and now it's all digital over the air. So the FCC cleared out that whole band, the 600 megahertz band, and then auctioned it off to T-Mobile, yep. who bought their little slot in there, but it's not like it's a new technology. The reason it goes so far and it's so stable is that it's very low band and it's older technology. It's great, yep. it's a great thing, but it's not even close to the 5G that Verizon is talking about, which is crazy fast. Yeah. So which carrier is the best 5G coverage? None, none, none of them really. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up <laughs> if you've enjoyed. Leave us a comment down below if you have any other questions. Yeah. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about cell phones and plans.